Hey guys, Aaron C. here today, and today I'd like to talk to you about more about traditional country rhythm guitar. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with a lot of, uh, a lot of weight on the right hand, uh, alternate bass picking, pick strum, stuff like that. Now obviously if you're just doing a, just a slow country dance song, just kind of we want those meaty strums, also invest in a capo, okay? because you want the sound of those open strings. Now, alternate bass picking, okay? So it's important to learn the root note and the fifth note in every chord because that's really all the alternate bass pattern consists of. Root, fifth, root, fifth, or in other words, answering what the bass player is doing in that situation. Um, you can play a couple bar chords if you like, uh, but try to minimize that. That's why it's very good for this to invest in the capo. Because you hear those open strings. As the rhythm player, you want those strings ringing out. Now, also going back to the root fifth pattern, if we're doing a waltz, like a three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Still doing the root five pattern. Okay, but just changing the tempo to a three, four pattern. So, anyways, those are just some basics. Keeping the open strings, root fifth patterns, and everything. Minimize bar chords, those sort of things. Now, this is dealing with more traditional country, uh, not so much pop country, bro country, whatever you. Uh, having to call it okay but once again these are just some simple go-to applications so anyways I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions leave them I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can should you be interested in any Skype lessons hit me up I'd love to get you going there also feel feel free to subscribe to my page thanks for stopping by again today guys and have a great day thanks